Hungry Cubs, written and illustrated by Kelsey Price. Tidal Wave, written and illustrated by Christopher Conti. The Pup's Rescue, written and illustrated by Jared St. Orange. The Bear's Terrible Night, written and illustrated by Kelsey Lash. One bitter winter night, a mama bear gives birth to two baby cubs. The mama bear is sleeping and doesn't know that she gave birth to two baby cubs. Later on, the mama bear sees her newborn babies and tries to move over without waking up her babies. On a cool morning, a blue whale is floating on the surface to get some air. He is swimming through the water and swishing in the nice, cool, cold ocean. One windy summer night, a fox pup wandered away from his den in a tree trunk on the edge of the forest. As he sniffed the air, he heard a rock fall. He started to shiver. He felt scared. When I was reading my story to the class, I was really thinking really hard, and the pictures came out of my mind, and then they just acted what I was reading. That's how I became a Reddit written and illustrator. One clear, calm sunrise, a snow leopard was looking for food. It picks up the scent of a herd of blue sheep. The snow leopard follows the scent. I worked really hard on him, and if there was something I didn't like, I, I tried again. And then if that wasn't good, I tried again. I kept on trying until I got it exactly how I wanted it. When the summer sun rose over the emerald meadow, two hungry bear cubs wandered up in search of some wild plump berries and some insects to eat. The picture sort of gave you all the right ideas to put in the sentence. It sort of gave it a little bit more pizzazz to it. One calm sunny day, the koala searched the grassy lands of Australia to find a tree with lots of leaves. The koala climbed the tree watching the golden sunset. The words. I just made them sound like they were with the picture and it came out as a really good book. Picturing writing, fostering literacy through art, and image making within the writing process are two innovative art and literature based approaches to writing designed to meet the needs of students with diverse learning styles. Developed by Bethel Shansky at the University of New Hampshire, these dynamic models provide a comprehensive alternative approach to teaching writing that supports all students in the acquisition of essential literacy skills. These systematic art-infused methods for teaching writing are easily integrated into the curriculum across grade levels. The tiny brown dots are what he eats, the tiny shrimp called krill. We're going to learn a lot about whales from Chris, aren't we? They allow teachers to teach the state standards and address district-wide curriculum while meeting the needs of the diverse learners within their classroom community. What's your snow leopard's problem? Oh. The problem was he found the, the blue sheep only. It belonged to a farmer. Um, what's the solution? Uh, the solution. As students engage in authentic learning experiences, reading, writing, listening, and speaking are seamlessly woven together with their art. Picturing writing and image making have proven their effectiveness in improving student writing as well as reading, particularly for those at risk. Leaked over the mud so that the hunter couldn't see the footprints. I like it because everybody in my class got a, a word um, for doing a nice job.
picturing writing consists of a carefully designed progression of literature, art, and writing mini lessons that utilize simple crayon resist art processes as a tool for developing, recording, and expressing ideas. Most students are comfortable working with crayons, and when a simple watercolor wash is applied, the result is quite pleasing. Students are encouraged to add visual detail to their pictures, which in turn increases their thinking and use of descriptive language. Gradually the sky started darkening. Then a cold wind tickled through the bear's fur. She began feeling chilly. After a while, an early snow started falling softly. Then a blustery wind whipped through the black bear's fur. After that, a blizzard hit. Image making within the writing process offers a collage-based approach to writing that utilizes hand-painted textured papers made by each student. These colorful and captivating paper texturing techniques are guaranteed to engage reluctant writers and struggling readers. Once students' portfolios are complete, these hand-painted textured papers become the raw materials for literally constructing story or inspiring poetry. The image-making collage process is unique in that it offers both visual and kinesthetic tools to support the acquisition of essential literacy skills. As students move cut and torn shapes freely on each page, they are able to rehearse, draft, and revise their stories before ever putting pencil to paper. The panther's not really good at writing because he's only a little kid. He's only a little baby. Together, picturing writing and image making offer a comprehensive, systematic, and rich learning experience that supports the literacy learning of all students throughout the school year. I thought I couldn't read this book, but then when I started practicing at home, I could read it. At first, when he said that we were going to make books, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to do it, but, but when I started trying, I believed in myself and I thought that it was very easy. Picturing writing and image making are facilitated within Artist Writers Workshop. Designed to establish a democratic learning environment, Artist Writers Workshop broadens the concept of writing workshop to include a strong visual and kinesthetic component. When I made the first picture, it was seen as the animals were alive and they were like helping me get language. Removing the verbocentric bias of more traditional approaches to language arts, words and pictures are treated as equal and complementary languages for learning. Students are defined not only as authors, but also as artists, and are given the task of creating their own quality picture books. They learn how to read their pictures to access detail and description. And it looks like the, it's reflecting. Almost like the rays of the sun are coming mm -hmm. through the clouds, yes. Mm -hmm. 